Now, I couldn't probably get to know that majority are autosomal recessive and only few are autosomal dominant if I just go through individual of these abnormalities from the standard textbook, right? But now looking at the treasure, I can develop a memory map. Hi guys, Dr. Patil here and I'm back with one more treasure video. Now, what are treasures? Treasures are literally treasures which you can find on the Prepladder app. Now, treasures are simplistic presentation of complex information from your standard textbooks. Now, for example, if you talk about the lipid disorders and you open up Harrison, you will see the data which is presented in the form of textual description. Now, for first time understanding that is very essential that we read through all that information. But when you revisit those chapters, it becomes really horrible for us to go through all those lines and trying to get or recollect whatever we have already learned. So what we do at prep ladder is, is we kind of filter all that information and put it to simplistic tables which can be easily read multiple times even when you have few seconds of free time and that helps you to retain, revise and reproduce in your exams. So let me take the example for the today that is lipid disorders, a very simplistic approach. Now when you say lipid disorders, there are three possibilities. It could be hypertriglyceridemic condition or it could be a hypercholesterolemia or it could be a combined hyperlipidemia. Basically here we are talking about inherited forms, right? These three broad categorization is possible. Now hypertriglyceridemia, there are various enzyme deficiencies which are associated with hypertriglyceridemia and specific points related to them can be asked as an MCQ, right? What is the mode of inheritance? What is the enzyme deficiency? In terms of clinical features, what all you can anticipate? So this table gives you all that you need. For example, lipoprotein lipase deficiency is one of the cause for familial hypertriglyceridemia. Now, lipoprotein lipase deficiency is characterized by elevated chylomicrons and VLDL. We are already talking about hypertriglyceridemia, right? In terms of clinical findings, these are characteristically associated with eruptive xanthomas, hepatosplenomegaly, and pancreatitis. Because we are talking about hypertriglyceridemia, increased TGLs, particularly more than 1000 milligrams per deciliter, is associated with significantly elevated risk of acute pancreatitis, which we are already familiar. Now, the moment you go through this treasure, that memory gets recollected, right? And now it gets much more strongly cemented into your brain. And if examiner wants to know whether the lipoprotein lipase deficiency is inherited as an autosomal recessive or a dominant condition, from this treasure, you get to know that it is inherited as an autosomal recessive condition. And as you look through the table, you also notice that all the common hypertriglyceridemic inherited conditions are inherited as autosomal recessive. So that way you can again remember it better, right? And most of these clinical findings are also very similar. So all you need to know is what are the enzyme deficiencies which cause hypertriglyceridemia. Okay. Then when you look at the combined hyperlipidemia, you have two entities, familial hepatic lipase deficiency and familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia, right? Now, both of these are again inherited as, inherited as autosomal recessive conditions. So pretty easy for us to remember again, right? Looking through this table, it makes much more easier. All I need to do is identify which one are autosomal dominant. Otherwise, majority are autosomal recessive. Now, I couldn't probably get to know that majority are autosomal recessive and only few are autosomal dominant if I just go through individual of these abnormalities from the standard textbook, right? But now looking at the treasure, I can develop a memory map. Okay. Now, what are the findings that you would see in case of combined hyperlipidemia in terms of clinical findings? Familial hepatic lipase deficiency may be associated with pancreatitis and combined is often associated with increased coronary vascular disease risk, right? Then in case of familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia, you might have palmar and tuberoeruptive xanthomas. That itself is an MCQ. Right. Where do you see tuberoeruptive and palmar xanthomas, familial dysbeta lipoproteinemia? Now coming to the conditions which can be grouped under hypercholesterolemia. In those cases, you basically have LDL which is elevated, right? And you look from the table, you notice that first three, that is familial hypercholesterolemia, familial defective ApoB100 and autosomal dominant hypercholesterolemia type 3. These are the three which are autosomal dominant. And the remaining two, that is autosomal recessive hypercholesterolemia and cytosterolemia, both are autosomal recessive, right? In all these cases, LDL is the one which is elevated and the characteristic finding of hypercholesterolemia is tendon xanthomas. That again is an important MCQ. Tendon xanthomas are seen in which of the lipid disorders? It is mostly hypercholesterolemia. Tendon xanthomas and obviously LDL elevated means L increased coronary vascular disease risk, right? 
okay so this is how simplistically you can learn about a lot of information in one place using the treasures subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder